This is Lesson 17, Part 1, and we're going to be covering beat subdivisions. This is not something that Jay Albrecht actually really gets into in his book. So we're deviating from that plan a little bit, simply because I think now is the appropriate time to talk about this. It's a really important music reading skill, especially as we continue to try to progress through our rhythm workshop book. I've mentioned many times that in everyday life, we measure time or duration in seconds, minutes, and hours. And that in music, we measure time or duration in beats and subdivisions of those beats. As of yet, we haven't really gotten into that whole subdivisions of beat part. Today, I want to start discussing what I mean by subdivisions of beats, when we might need to think about subdividing the beat, and how we would go about doing that. If I were to ask my husband how long he'll be away from home, say, to run an errand, it might be appropriate for him to give me an approximate answer based on half hours or hours. In another situation, such as a student taking a time test, it might be a lot more appropriate to think of time in terms of minutes or even seconds, 60 seconds, say, or two minutes. In yet another situation, say an Olympic race, it might be more appropriate to think down to tenths of a second or hundredths of a second or even milliseconds. Note that the proportion between hours and minutes and between minutes and seconds is a fixed proportion. So if we're looking at a duration of an hour, we can either keep track of that time by counting 360 seconds, or we can keep track of that time by counting 60 minutes, or we can keep track of that time by just looking only at the one hour mark. Now you might be rolling your eyes and saying, yeah, I get that, but this is really important to apply and keep in mind when we're thinking about duration in music. In our studies so far, we have always kept track of only our actual pulse note. We've clapped do. We've clapped one beat notes. Sometimes our mouth has said half beat notes, do day, do day, do day, do day, but we've only always actually kept track of our pulse notes as the beat. As we start reading or decoding and performing or realizing increasingly complex rhythms, for example, various combinations of half beat, not half notes, but half beat notes and rests, and or quarter beat notes and rests, so fourth of a beat, notes and silences, pitches and silences, it's going to become increasingly difficult to place those part way through a do without subdividing that beat, that do, into smaller parts. As an everyday life analogy, say I gave you a weird digital clock that only showed you hours. So it would show you two o'clock and then nothing would happen again for a whole hour. There would be no minutes going by. There would be no seconds that would be visible to you. And then it would switch it at three o'clock, exactly three. But you wouldn't have a way of in any way, even approximately, knowing the distance between those two hours. And then I said, you need to make sure you're on time for a, an appointment at the doctor at 2.25 p.m. How would you know exactly when you were supposed to be there? So this is what happens sometimes when we're asked to place, let's say, a one-fourth beat note halfway through a do. So if we're only tracking do's and we're not feeling anything smaller than that, it can be really hard to know where to place that quarter beat note. And when we're trying to all play together, that's problematic. So the solution in everyday life is to get a clock with a minute hand. 
even better, a clock with an hour hand, a minute hand, and a second hand. So you can just use whichever one you need. The solution in music, when we have complex rhythms that need to be placed accurately, is to take our do, we can keep track of that in our hands, but internally to keep a subdivided pulse going. For example, this would be an example of a subdivided pulse. We get this going and we keep it going so that we don't have to kind of wonder where to put our notes. So I'm thinking that either internally or even saying it verbally out loud. We'll go through strategies of how to apply this in various contexts. I could also use a quarter beat note, so duta data, as my steady pulse that I just keep rambling through internally or externally. So here we go. Here's our do. And sometimes at first it's hard to get that placed exactly, but once it's going, it's actually pretty easy because subdivisions of beat, just like beats, big beats, are recurring and predictable. So once we get it going, we can just keep it going. So for example, data, 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 and and we don't have to necessarily say this out loud, but internally we're feeling. And now we can accurately place a quarter beat note because we can know, well, if it falls on the last fourth of the beat, we have to wait for do ta de ta. We will review this material many times in the coming weeks as we practice together and we will practice implementing this strategy. So if you feel a little overwhelmed right now, please just know the intent of this is just to open your mind to the concept of subdivided beats and how that can be a useful tool, just like keeping track of seconds or minutes can be helpful instead of only thinking in hours. So the first step in learning to use beat subdivisions to help you accurately perform or realize the rhythms that you're reading on a page is simply to be able to keep a steady verbal subdivision going with a metronome. So what I'd recommend doing is just saying a steady stream of do days or duta datas after you get a pulse going at various tempi, at various speeds. So we're going to get our metronome going at 80. We're grouping our beats into fours and just get our beat, our big beat, our do going in our hands. So one, two, ready, clap. And now we're gonna practice saying our half beat notes. So our do days, one, Two, ready, speak. Do day, 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 do day. If we were subdividing the beat that way, we would be able to place notes, even if they started right on a day, we'd be able to accurately place that because we'd be hearing that internally. I'm going to now choose a slower speed metronome at 60 beats per second. Again, we can group the beats into fours and we're gonna say our duta datas. So this would be appropriate for a song that's pretty heavy on notes that fall on a quarter beat. So we have to know maybe, is it the first quarter beat of the do or is it the last quarter beat of the do or is it halfway through? This can be helpful also for just placing do days because it's part of our duta data, so we can know accurately how to place half beat and quarter beat notes if we use that kind of subdivision. So here's our metronome at 60, grouping the beats into fours, get it going in our hands first. This is our big beat or our do. One, two, ready, clap. One, two, 
Ready, speak. Duta data, duta data, duta data, duta data, 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 data. One thing I will strongly recommend is that when you're first starting to think of this subdivision stuff, not to switch subdivisions halfway through um, a piece or a section of a song or something like that. The reason being, well, it can be hard initially to establish duta data, duta data with your big pulse. Once you're going, you're going to find that it's actually not that hard to keep it going and to accurately place down to a quarter of a beat where exactly each syllable should come. And that's because subdivisions of beats, just like big beats, are recurring and predictable. So once you've got it going, it's actually not that hard to keep it going and then accurately place notes. Whereas it's sometimes actually surprisingly difficult to switch between do day and do to data accurately. So if we have our do going saying do day, do to data, do to data, do day, do data, do day, do to data, do day, especially at first is very, very tricky for a lot of people to accurately kind of guess how to pace that so that it all works out nicely between do's. And even for me, the reason that's easy is because internally I automatically now think, I don't say the syllables, but I'm always subdividing in my mind. I'm always keeping track of the smaller division of the pulse. So we're going to practice this together. But whenever you look at a song and you're deciding if and how you should subdivide it, look for the smallest note denomination, meaning let's say it's a 16th note and it's worth a quarter of a beat. That's that subdivided pulse I would recommend keeping track of. And I would just keep that consistent throughout the whole song or piece or chunk you're trying to read. In the next part of this lesson, I will focus on applying this concept of beat subdivision to our written music reading. For today, I'd like to work on an exercise that I introduced in our last lesson, and that is to set the metronome at 80, group the beats into groups of four, and we're going to practice saying a pair of half beat notes, do day, followed by a one beat rest. This time, though, I want us to very consciously be thinking a steady stream of do day, do day, do day. Do day. So we're going to be thinking a steady stream of half beat notes, even during our one beat rest. If it helps you, you can even mouth or whisper the do day during the rest. So do day, do day, do day, do day for now. Let's get our beat going. Metronome equals 80. One, two, ready, clap. We're going to say four of those sets of a due day followed by a rest. One, two, ready, go. Due day, due day, due day, due day. Try it again. Ready, go. Due day, due day, due day, due day. And again, revisiting the exercise I introduced in our last lesson, we're going to Drop the metronome down to 60 beats per minute, still grouping beats into fours, and we're going to say a set of four quarter beat notes. So one fourth of a beat for each of these. So do ta data followed by a one beat rest. This time I want you to keep a steady stream of do ta data, do ta data, do ta data, do ta data going internally. And again, you can whisper it if you'd like during that rest so that it's a little bit easier to keep it going. We're going to say this pattern of one set of quarter beat notes, duta data, followed by a one beat rest four times. So our metronome is set at 60. Ready, clap. One, two, ready, speak. Duta data. Duta data. Duta data. Duta data. Again, go. Duta data. 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 Duta
Tutor data. Tutor data. 